guys, when they say they're online, they say there's thousands. All right, guys, uh, we're about to go live, and uh, yeah. uh, this is actually our title fight now. Title fight, yeah. We're actually fighting for an uh, MMA title right now. We've got uh, Jason Santana in the red corner. Uh, we're in the red gloves, of course. Um, of course. They're both in black and red shorts, so can't differentiate, uh, differentiate that way, but uh, look at the gloves. Jay Santana's in red gloves, and uh, Herod Grajeda out of Pompano Fitness is in the blue. Jiu Jitsu is, is, is obviously especially. Yeah, Herod's a BJJ he's, guy, so. Uh, he's, um, he's from Mexico. Watch Blue Corner to maybe do some uh, Jiu Jitsu uh, work, so. But um, so far they're standing, they're, they're feeling each other out, and. Uh, you know, known jiu-jitsu guys, at some point I feel we're going to go to the ground. But right I'll tell now, you what, both these guys look very skilled. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And their weight, they're weighing around 145. And being a title fight, you know they've been around, so you know they're uh, they're not just going to make stupid decisions. They're, no. they're feeling each other out, but they're being safe, but watching for that opening. And in a split second, they're going to make make the move. Like like that. Oh. Nice body kick with the right leg. The hand position is really good. Both these guys look like they're seasoned. They both exactly. Like you see how quick he gym. was on a turnaround? Yep. Yeah, you're right, though. The hands are, uh, yeah. You know, they both have got a good, solid foundation. Yep. Nice oh, can you hear that snap? <laughs> I hope they can hear that on online, on live. So we got uh, uh, Herod actually is making a point of controlling the center of the cage, or the ring, if we will. And uh, and um, so we got Jason, you know, circling outside, which nothing wrong with that again. But, um, you know, that one of the things they look for is, a uh, you know, the assertiveness in a cage. A lot of guys think mentally that, uh, you know, control the center and you're controlling the fight. So um, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know what I'd still like to see a lot more of? I think GSP proved this well, and I think the jab is very important. Right. Not enough guys use the jab. It sets up the leg kick. It absolutely. sets up everything. Absolutely. And it measures them. Uh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, absolutely. Uh, it's tough absolutely. to work without the jab. And, you know, I think, you know, it's funny. that It's such an important weapon, but when you get under the light, it's almost like, you know, you forget to use it. It happens all the time. You're right. You're right. In, in fact, uh, underutilized punches. Did you see he just did a uh, right uppercut to the body? Yeah, um, it, was uh, nice, it was a nice yeah, punch. Yeah, real nice punch. Now, when you're, when you're looking at this and watching two fighters, obviously, if you're not in the ring, how do you analyze it differently than when you are in the ring if you're scouting it? Well, I mean, it's got vastly differently. What do we I mean, <laughs> when I'm... Uh, when I'm in the in the cage, I'm just I know I'm going throwing and throwing punches. There's a nice body clinch. Yeah, but I think quick. um you know, watching these guys, you know what I look for is I like to see a guy who's smart, but I like to see aggression also. Yeah, so okay. I think sometimes your offense is your best defense. Yep, yep. And it's tough to just stay outside and look to pick shots. And when these guys um for the amateurs and they turn pro, I think they'll realize that, you know, you need to be offensive minded is very important. It helps set up the takedowns, it helps everything. You can't always be a counter. That's uh, tough. I mean it's tough, and I, I kind of started that way, and it's, it's uh, you know, I just know that with four-ounce gloves or, or seven-ounce gloves in this case, yeah, it's important to land those shots because uh, my last fight, I, I noticed the jab was changing the guy's uh, appearance on his face, and there I was you like, go. you know, there fascinating you go. stuff, man. And then, you know, too, you set that jab up, and, you know, now the, the guy's going to change his position. He's going to change his, uh, you know, his distance he's going to keep from you because now he doesn't want to eat that jab, you know. So now uh, he's going to start thinking different things, you know. So It's crazy because when you just talk about basics and these guys, exactly. fundamentals are so important. The yep. jab, not only is it going to set up your inside, your, your leg kicks, your tie kicks, it's going to set up your takedown. You can close the distance with the jab, Absolutely. you know. Absolutely. You can also... Step back off the jab. You know, like you said, the being a range finder for it, that's the whole key. It helps you control the distance in the yep. fight. It's it's uh, super important. Yep, exactly. You know, these guys, you know, they're, they're they're both very polished guys, honestly, as amateurs. I think they need to, uh, I'd love to see the jab a little bit more. So, uh, Bruce, uh, let me tell you real quick. Um, I don't know if you realize, but we're, we are live in 50 countries around the world right now. And uh, from what I heard, there's a few million households tuning in. We actually are live on LDLTV.com. And Ustream. We're actually, we keep hitting the front page of Ustream. Awesome. And, We've been um, on the front yeah, page so all night. All night long, man. We're still holding it right now. All night awesome. long, brother. So, uh, we're, we're obviously, we're, so we have a good product. Thank you for what we got going on right now. Thanks, everybody, man. Thanks, yes. everybody, for joining. Hopefully, you're having a good as time as we are in the crowd here at uh, Club Cinema in Pompano. It's great stuff. What a great venue to have fights at, too. Yeah, it really is. Oh, it's, and it's getting better every time. And now we got Ustream coming in. It, it, it's only going to grow. Yeah. Wait till May 27th. Oh, oh my gosh. Be huge. Pro am. We'll talk more about that in a bit, but that fight is going to be amazing. I don't know. You know what? This is a hard fight to top. This, <laughs> this event is amazing, but, we'll, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's our goal. Keep topping it. Absolutely. But uh, this one's a hard one to top. This is a fantastic fight. Um, again, we got uh, Jason Santana in the red gloves. And uh, he's circling around the outside, controlling the center is uh, Herod Grajeda from Pompano Fitness. He stepped in. 
And now uh, the guy in the top position now is Herod. He's the he's the jujitsu guy. When I asked yes. him, when I asked him, uh, tell me one thing about your style, he said BJJ. So we know what that means. I, I will tell you what. I think that Harrod is going to have. Uh, I think he's going to really do well from this position. He looks yep. really comfortable. Turned his hips really good. Yep. Controlling uh, his opponent's hips really well, and I think he's going to get into a very good position very soon. Yep. Right to side. He didn't even get uh, half guard, guard anywhere. Right to side control. Um, you know, it's, it, I'm sure he's going to start thinking for submissions. He's got, uh, you know, that elbows up there. You never know. He's might be thinking arm, tri- arm triangle from there. Americana. A lot of things. Steps uh, over. Bad, bad, oh, that was quick. Yep. <laughs> Steps over in the full in the full mount. Look, Whoa! Look at that. Did you see that flip? That was that quick. Did. That's awesome. But back in the guard. So, uh, you yeah. know, I, I think that was a mistake, actually. Yeah, it was a mistake. Flashy, Should've but it was a mistake. It, yeah. yeah, it was. It was. It was flashy, but it was, yeah, I mean, exactly. it looked good. Yeah, I'm curious to think if he was thinking on it. Maybe he had some idea that you know what. You know, who knows? It didn't work out for him, but you know, it looked good. Yeah. Uh, you know, it looks like he's gonna pass pretty quick, though. I think he's gonna pass it again. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, you know, Jason on the bottom, he's uh, he's locking up his guard, keeping him tight. He, uh, I don't think he liked uh, Herod making moves and jumping around his guard like that, jumping in and out. So <laughs> he's gonna keep it tight. Actually, he's open. Jason's doing a good job right now on the bottom. Yeah. He's holding him and, and he controlling is. a little bit. At this point, again, uh, Bruce, you want to talk about that? He's uh, the, the guy in your back. You want to control the position of your opponent on top of you. Control the wrist. Position over submission all the time. There you go. You want to control. He wants to control his posture. Control his wrist for the ground and pound. So now, now get a couple again. little shots, but nothing, nothing as serious. Yeah, now he could knee the body right there, but he, you know he can't knee the head or nothing no, like that. So well, he's tried. Yeah, no, well, yeah, he wouldn't try. But yeah, the body though, he's doing. And there's the disadvantage of being in the ring over the cage. You know, yeah. right? he could actually use that cage exactly. to, to change his position a little bit. Push off the cage up. and exactly. Nice knees though. Nice knees. Yeah. Though, Lonnie. Now he could do it. Those are gonna hurt tomorrow. The Charlie horse and then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, so uh, Harry. You like the cage better, if you had to choose. Uh, I like the cage much better. Yeah. yeah. It's funny. I fought in a ring so many times, but uh, the cage is just very different, man. When you go in there and they close that door behind you, yep. there's no other feeling like that. Yeah, it's mentally, it's, it's. I'm not leaving. There's no way out. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, it's different. Do or die. No way out. It's pretty cool. Exactly. So there, if you notice that they were, um, they were sliding through the rope. So they. They uh, put them back in that position, yep. like you said. Same position Zeus. in the center, and uh, we'll resume action, which just sliding back to the same place. <laughs> So now what it is is uh, Jason on the bottom. He's actually uh, he was trying to change that position, so he's going for a single leg. And Harrod's legs are outside again. Wow, round, so. that was a so good round. Was, so we've got we've got two rounds. Uh, how do you guys score that? I would actually say uh, yeah, I'd, I'd give it to uh, Harrod for positioning. Yeah. You know, positioning and uh, um, and and he's trying he's trying for submission holds. Yeah, I know he controls it better, and I think he also he went for some submissions. I mean, he um, yeah. he's looking pretty good so far. I, I would really like to see him. You know, sometimes when you've got an opponent who's, you know, you can take your heart away from your opponent, and especially in the in, in, in this level. It's really that's why aggression to me is so important. I would love to see Harris come out and really impose his will yeah. on his opponent. I think it would do a lot more for him. I think Jason is doing a good job. He's holding but, on because, yeah. like you said, if he imposed his will. It, it's how much heart does he have? Will I, I we, will we this, give up? This round for sure comes down to uh, Jason in the red corner. Yeah. He's got to go out and go for it. You exactly. know, and, and it's really important that he imposing him some control. Yeah, absolutely. It's very close. I, I, I tell you the truth, uh, this is what happens a lot of times when you know, one judge sees one thing one way, another judge sees oh, something totally. the other way. And, when and it's this close, it's I mean, you know, it's it's, it's possible. So. And Zeus, that's what we've seen on a few fights. The cards have been opposite yeah. on the points. Absolutely, See, this absolutely. Is, this is. Uh, Jason, wow. Jason just cannot sit back. He's got to walk forward and throw punches. You know what? He's and I think he, I think he might have overheard you, Bruce. So he's he's banging. He's coming now. He's coming forward. And if you notice too, that look, distance. look. You know, notice he was taking the center more instead of circling out. And, and he's that's uh, very important for him. I think it's a key. Yeah, I think too. Yeah, you're right. Oh! oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God! Oh my God. One, one punch knockout. That was definitely the knockout of the night. Knockout of the night. He's asleep. Let's hope he's okay. He's asleep. Wow. No follow-up punch is needed. One punch out. Wow. Oh. Wow. Let's Upper hope he's okay. Uppercut. It was done. Yeah, you can only pray for his safety. That was a hard knockout. Yeah, out. let's hope he's okay. That was a vicious uppercut. It was an uppercut, right? That wow. was an uppercut. Vicious <laughs> uppercut, man. Wow. Great job on Herod part. And Herod's the jujitsu guy, and look at him knocking people out. Yeah, you know, that was just honestly perfectly timed. Absolutely. Uh, that was an amazing punch. Absolutely. And he didn't really walk into it that much. 
That was there. That was just a good. That was a good shot. Amazing. Yeah, he picked his picked his punch well. And, I, and I'll tell you what, you're talking. You know, even still, seven ounce gloves. You know, guys are knocking guys out with ten ounce gloves, yeah. and twelve ounce gloves in boxing. So when you put these little gloves on, even I don't care, even at this level, there is not a they, lot. You get one of those punches, and it's over. Exactly. And he landed. It was all. It was solid. That was as flush as can be, man. Right on yeah, the button. That was a nice shot. Yeah, fantastic. Wow, but uh, you know, it's again hope for the fighter safety. He's sitting up, so he's okay, but. Again, when you, know, once, once you get caught on the button there, man, you know, you are uh, you went to sleep for a, for a minute there. Yeah, you know, you never can tell, man. And on these fights, you, you know, you let one punch with small gloves and it's the end of the night. Exactly. Game. So that was a very close fight until an uppercut landed. Absolutely. And we said he had to come out this round. Yep. Well, yeah, the wrong guy. But, uh, but uh, you know what? You know what, too, Bruce? Uh, give me your opinion on that. We were saying that, you know, again, how every fighter nowadays has a – you know, it can't be one-dimensional. And I think he just proved that because Herod's known as a jiu-jitsu guy. And look what he did. He won the fight by a knockout. So that, that just shows, again, amateur That's level, pro level, you got to know it all, and these guys do. It's so important, too. I mean, you know, it's, you know what kills me? I was just talking to Carl King over there about uh, James Tony. I was a sparring partner for James Tony for a while, and it really disappointed me to see James. I love James, but seeing him go into the fight with Randy Couture, and, you know, ex standing up straight, expecting that his boxing is going to yep. work. Exactly. I mean, it was just a crazy no. philosophy. Exactly. You, yep. you know, these guys are so well-rounded, and uh, it's, it's good to see. I mean, Harry showed some really good skill there. Exactly. Um, so now, remember, guys, that was a title fight. That, yes. So this is actually, uh, we're going to have a champion right now. Uh, Let's what, hear what, what, what These guys, what a great it's fight. A on the moon, and it will carry me through this battle. Who am I? I'm the champion. And your winner, by knockout, 34 seconds in the third round, in the blue corner, Jason Santana is the new. We are uh, we are back live, and uh, he's, he's got a new he's champion. It's actually uh, Jason Santana is a champion. Yes. I think, uh, I think they actually switched the gloves. So we were calling it wrong. So uh, that's okay. Uh, Jason Santana is the new champion. So uh, yeah, it was uh, they, they they switched it before, but uh, we have a new champion, everybody. That was a lightweight MMA title. Congratulations! That was our first, and what a way to start it! Wow, man, that's awesome! Congratulations to win a belt that way. Yep, man, seriously, that's the way so you win a title. When you say you win a title, don't go by points. Don't let don't let the don't let the judges make the decision. Yeah, that's the way you win a title. You make the decision yourself.